In this instructional video, we will be discussing using the timeline and animations in On The Air CG. With On The Air CG, you can animate every item with a start and end animation. Animations work so that we can bring items in and out in various ways. This is done either here in the timing area of the inspector or directly in the timeline. You have noticed that each time you create an item, you can see it in the timeline area. By ticking the box at the left of the timeline, we can show or hide different items. Or by clicking the padlock icon, we can lock its position and make it so it cannot be modified until the icon is clicked again and unlocked. The timeline area can also be resized to help our workflow. And by clicking the magnifying glass in the bottom corner, we can zoom in and out of the timeline. Now let's try to animate some items. For this example, let's animate a clock with a rounded rectangle around it. By right clicking on the clock tool, let's select digital clock. We will draw a field to create the clock's position. You can see that On The Air CG Designer has filled the field using the time clock resident on the Mac. We can change the style of its presentation in the inspector. Now let's draw a border around the clock. Here we will right click on the shape tool and select rounded rectangle. Let's draw this rectangle to border the clock. As you can see, our rectangle has hidden the clock. We can fix this by moving its position in the timeline. Let's move the shape item to beneath the clock. Let's also rename the shape item to rounded rectangle. The timeline works such that everything that intersects the vertical playhead will be displayed on the screen at that instant. Let's select the rounded rectangle and position the playhead where we would like the animation to begin. We can do this manually in the inspector or by using the keyboard shortcuts that you can view in the drop down object menu. With the playhead where we would like it, let's mark the start of the in transition. Let's also select the digital clock and do the same. Now let's slide the playhead over to mark the place where we will end the in transition. This is basically setting how long the animation takes to be fully on the screen. Now let's select both the clock and rounded rectangle to mark the end of the in transition of both items simultaneously. So this way we are sure that they will be in sync. As you can see in the inspector, the timing values are changing. We could have set these manually. Now let's choose what type of animation we want. We will select push and crop for our rounded rectangle in transition animation and have it push from the left. And we will do the same for our digital clock. Now you can see as we move the playhead, we can manually preview the animation. We can then move the playhead to the position where we would like our out transition to begin to animate. Highlight the items on the timeline and mark the start of our out transition. Now let's move the playhead further down the timeline to mark the point where these items will no longer be visible on the screen. Now let's select the items and mark the end of the out transition. The longer the slope is, the more gradual the animation. Now let's adjust the out transition animation to push to the top right for both items. By returning the playhead to zero and pushing play, we can preview our project. This concludes our instructional video about working with the timelines and animations in On The Air CG.